recently presented data at this year's ASH meeting on gilteritinib. Gilteritinib is a FLT3 inhibitor. It's formerly known as ASP2215. We presented results from a phase one, phase two dose escalation, dose expansion study to assess both the toxicities, tolerability, and safety of the drug and also a sense of efficacy of ASP2215, also known as gilteritinib, in patients with relapsed and refractory acute myeloid leukemia, where we looked at individuals who are 18 and older. Uh, we had a particular interest in enriching for adults with a FLT3 mutation. We identified that the drug was safe and tolerable to doses up to 300 milligrams daily. At the next dose level, 450 milligrams, there were dose limiting toxicities identified, and so that dose was considered too toxic. In the phase two component of the study, we had enriched at 120 and 200 milligram cohorts, allowing for at least 40 individuals with a FLT3 mutation. What's most interesting about this study is that the responses appeared to exist at 80 milligrams through 300 milligrams. What's also fascinating about the study is that individuals responded whether or not they had received prior tyrosine kinase inhibitors in their prior treatments. Individuals who were TKI naive responded to the therapy, as did individuals who had prior tyrosine kinase inhibitor exposure. The drug was very well tolerated in this patient population.